Good day and welcome to Dr. Dispatch videos. In this video we will go over splitting a load in truck dispatch. Splitting a load means that more than one driver was involved in picking up and or delivering the load. I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to start with a load that's already split. We'll explain it, reverse it back and then bring it back again to the way it was and go through the procedure. Pro number 229 has already been split. You don't have any control over driver, truck, or trailer on the master load. The master load is only used to generate an invoice with. The customer does not need to know about splits, nor probably do they care about what drivers were involved. That's only for dispatch. So once the load is split with the button here, you're going to get the master locked down to get an invoice from and then to the right you'll have 229.01 and 229.02 two different pro numbers which you can handle as individual loads put the proper truck driver where he went what he did dispatch him empty him out get a payroll record and do everything the way you need to do it to properly handle what the truck did your if the miles will be correct your performance miles will be correct everything now once again, master load 229, invoice will come from this, got the gross pay, no miles or anything really. The first leg is going to be the deadhead where the driver went to pick up the load, Dallas to San Antonio in this case, and this driver brought the load to Joplin, Missouri where he dropped it. And then the second leg is going to go from Joplin, Missouri to the final location in Newark, New Jersey. The original load was San Antonio to Newark. We ended up with San Antonio to Joplin where it was split and then Joplin on to Newark. Simple. Uh, I want to look at the load board for a minute here. You'll notice that the 22901, the first leg, I'm showing it as dispatch. It technically could be empty by now, but it shows where it went, Dallas to Joplin. And then the O2, notice it shows drop loaded. Whenever you make a, a, a split leg, it's always drop loaded. It's the same as empty as far as the way the system treats it, but it, it is actually a drop loaded trailer, and we don't want to forget about those on the yard, and it does show as unavailable. So once again, you can come back over here and put the truck and trailer on it that actually ends up hauling it, the second half. And he could have more, will, likely will have a deadhead record of some sort. I'm not going to put one in and of course the driver. Now on drivers, <coughs> this is a percentage driver. There's no way the system's going to figure out how much of the gross pay to pay this driver because it's been split. So this says ha this load has been split between two or more drivers. This driver is paid by percentage or weight. Do you wish to enter the proper pay for the driver now? I say yes. I could give him $250, whatever whatever it is, and if you want to put in an origin or destination for the payroll record, that's fine, and that will give you everything you need for payroll. Now, if it was a mileage driver, you would put on the miles just the way they happen, and you will at some point anyway. Deadhead miles, trip miles, and each, each leg is going to have their own miles on it for truck performance and IFTA taxes. Um, now, let's go back and make this, re undo this and see if we can make it happen again. I'm going to unsplit this load, reverse split utilities, reverse split off of the master. Now it's no longer split. There is, there's, there's just a load 229. And we got a truck trailer and a driver, something happens, or he's coming through the yard and you need to split it. Just hit the split button. Split this load, and it will show it as drop loaded. I say yes copy the origin or destination. Why not? Better than looking back and forth and it gives me my dot one leg. Now know this, you always got to split a load twice. Not once, but twice. I don't try to give a two legs when somebody splits because most people would never know that second leg was ever there. So you do do it twice and you, and you do it each time off of the master. So I go back to 229 and split it again. Yes, copy origin or destination and now I have my dot o2 and my 01. Now, at this point, <coughs> and of course my master is all blocked out, locked down for invoicing, I take my 01 and I'm going to go ahead and re-put this truck on, set the, door, the uh, deadhead origin. I'm going to change this to Dallas just to fit what we're doing. 
where he came from. So there's the Dallas deadhead on leg one to San Antonio for the pickup, the loads en route to Newark. Now, what we want to do here is change Newark to where we drop. You don't have to put in a, a receiving facility to do this. You can just type the city states. And in this case, I'm going to go in here and just hit the delete key to blank out the, the, the receiving facility. Now, oops. When I move off that record, now we've got Dallas Deadhead to San Antonio, which is a pickup, the original pickup, and the drop was in Dallas, or Joplin, Missouri, I'm sorry. You have the option of making this a waypoint. A waypoint is really just a way of having a stop or a drop that's not part of the original load. Uh, it's a waypoint on the way to delivery. Not necessary, but you can. This, this tells the dispatcher everything. You would then want to put in your miles. If you don't have a mileage interface of some sort, bring the truck up to Joplin. I got my truck trailer and driver. Everything, everything on this load is put together just the way it exactly happened, and you treat it as such too. It's going to be on the load board, the dot one truck trailer, the dot two, which still hasn't been handled. It's been dropped on the yard. It's still showing drop loaded. And when time comes to to cover that, you put your truck on it. There again, we'll do something more. There again, I'm changing we're changing these because I'm just trying to make it fit the picture here a little better. Wichita, Kansas, deadhead on this truck over to. Now there again, we got to change the stops. We're going to delete out the, the the pickup facility and put in Joplin. If you want to put in your yard, and you're good, that's fine. But sometimes these things happen out in a rest area, just as long as you have the city state. So we got a deadhead of Wichita coming into Joplin where the drop happened, or the swap, and then on to the actual drop or final destination of the load, which is Newark, New Jersey. And there again, um, you could call Joplin a pickup, or you can call it a waypoint. It's up to you. There again, get a driver on here. It's going to advise us on this percentage guy. We don't know what to pay him. I could put it in or not put it in and wait. Um, and these loads get dispatched just like you normally would. I'm going to go back to the 01 here and dispatch it because it's already been dropped on the yard. And I'm going to go ahead and empty it. Load is emptied and out of the way. Now on the load board, all I've got is just the second leg waiting to deliver. You'll notice the 229, <laughs> the master load doesn't show at all once it's split. It, it doesn't get in the way. You just use your two legs to work with and you could have more if you wanted to split it and drop it between several people. You could. The, you can have up to 99 splits. Um, Invoicing, nothing changes. That's the sweet part. 229 is just a regular old load because that's all it is to the customer and that's all it is to the invoice. Nothing changes. Now, once again, if we look at revenue, I'm not sure what date range. Now, see, I didn't use dates. I broke some of my own rules, I believe, here. Let me, let me look at this again. Actually, I do have dates on there. So if we go into revenue, and show loads. Notice we've got the 229 and the two legs. We've got all three loads, but here's what happens. We, we use the master to get the money off of $1,200. Now the two legs, we show no money, but rather we will pick up the miles. So when you divide miles by money, you get your cents per mile on your revenue. Everything works out perfectly in an imperfect world. By that I mean you can't have, it's not sensible to try to d divide the $2,100 between two loads. I mean it's possible to do it, but it, it, it is a hassle, it's confusing. So we use the master for the money and we use the two or more legs to get the miles and divide them together to get proper performance figures. And go into revenue and that will conclude this video on splitting of uh, truck loads.